So Greg, maybe where we start with this piece is talking about how it's made. And um, the way that I understand it's made is that um, it all starts with a circle of mylar, um, this metallicized mylar and that's then folded and then folded again and then folded again until you get one singular form, which you can see here. And then that makes a kind of cone that's inserted into here and then this, this ball is formed out of that and it's all glued together with hot glue. And so it's a, a really labor intensive project. As all of them, it's a super complex installation. But this was made in um, Tara Donovan's studio and then brought here um, in segments and then it was installed in this gallery. Another thing to point out, mylar is a material that as conservation scientists and conservators we're very familiar with. It probably means nothing to people outside of our field. Uh, it, it's simply polyester. It's the same stuff that Coke bottles are made out of. This is just a very thin sheet of that. And that's kind of important in terms of thinking about the material. A lot of people have talked about, well, what if one of these gets torn? You would be hard pressed to tear a piece of mylar. Try taking a Coke bottle and tearing it in half. Yeah. You'd never be able to do it. So it's an incredibly robust material, and yet the way it's assembled, there is some concern about damage because one of the issues, if you've ever taken a Coke bottle and squeezed it, you get that white line, that crinkle, and that is the Achilles heel of mylar. And so in uh, assembling and disassembling this or thinking about what might happen if someone were to uh, over-aggressively uh, touch this, of course, you are asked not to touch it at all, um, what might happen to these sheets of metallized mylar. So it's called metallized mylar. Does that mean, is there any metal in there? There's a thin film of probably aluminum or an aluminum alloy. So mylar is also, if you ever uh, get the birthday balloons that are the shiny metal balloons, helium balloons, that's right. metallized mylar. It's right. the same sort of stuff. Right. So that's why it's so reflective and you can see the light bouncing off of it. Right. So what's interesting about this piece to me is that it, it it reads to me as something that's more sculptural rather than an installation. We were just in the, the room with the tar paper, which reads as a, uh, a, an installation that is responsive to that site. And this, this piece, um, it doesn't seem as responsive to that site, but then again, if you think about it, the way the lights are on it, and Tara Donovan was involved with directing our lighting designer and how this piece should be, should, um, be lit. And if you look around, you'll see that all of the light in the room is being uh, angled here. There's a few over there that are pointing on the floor so you can walk around, but there's none on the walls. It's really meant to be this thing inside the room that's kind of glowing.